Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing and Chill. This is Ryan. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful start to your week so far. Uh, it is Monday, October 12th, and uh, it is more than just Monday, October 12th. As you can see from Isabel's announcement, it's a very special day. I know that we usually start these videos off in my home or outside, but I wanted to start here because, as you can see, uh, it is Lyman's birthday today. It is our main man's birthday today, and we're going to be celebrating with Lyman today. Um... I've been looking forward to this day, well, for the last few months now. Um, we don't really celebrate a lot of birthdays um, on my island. I think their birthdays are pretty uh, far from each other, and so I don't really get to do it that often. But uh, today's Lyman's birthday, we're going to be celebrating that, so let's go through the rest of the announcements really quick. I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> but either way, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. For anybody else who also has Lyman on their island, uh, be sure to give your Lyman a very special gift. Um, I am completely unprepared. <laughs> I am completely unprepared. I'm going to go through my inventory really quick and see what I can give him. Um, I know that, you know, in the grand scheme of things, really, there's not a big difference between getting them... Well, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I think there's not really a big difference between getting them something that's worth a lot of money versus something that's not... Uh, there were a lot of people who were giving me suggestions about things like, uh, you know, uh, go to his birthday wearing an outfit and then give him the exact same outfit for the max amount of points. Now, I think that's correct. I, I, I That sounds like something to me um, that would be a thing. I haven't looked it up. Uh, people mentioned it to me during yesterday's stream and I never really thought about it until pretty much right now. <laughs> so... I guess really quick, I'm going to go into my inventory and see what outfits I have. Also, we changed the inside of our home for those that haven't seen the Twitch streams lately. Uh, before, I used to have this underwater aquatic theme, but then people told me with my new uh, with my new zombie look that I should uh, I should make it a little bit more Halloween-y or creepy. And so I went for this dungeon wall kind of appearance, which, you know, is fine. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so let's take a look in our in our fashion items here. And I'm just going to look for some quick matches. Um, I see a couple of dress shirts. Um, some nurse's jackets. <laughs> I don't know if it has to be the same color or if I can just give him like the same article of clothing uh, and then color be of, uh, of no consequence. I can give him a work apron. Um... I saw this in the story yesterday, the ancient belted robe, which actually looked pretty cool. I kind of wish I bought two, one for me, one for, uh, one for Lyman. But either way, I don't know how outfits work. I don't know if they wear the entire thing. I know the only thing they don't wear is uh, when you give them pants, uh, which is always an amazing decision. Uh, I, I could wear the samurai helmet. I can give him the other one. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, see, now I kind of wish I had some cool guy shades to give him. Well... I think what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt to just give him uh, the same version of something. I don't know if he puts it on, like, clothing-wise. I don't know if he puts it on um, that uh, at the same time. But let's go ahead and give him a noble coat, because he deserves it. I don't know if I have two royal coats. Um, I, mean, I can't even remember if that's what they're called. Yeah, it's, it's right here. Okay, royal shirt, rather. I don't. But either way, we're gonna give him a uh, we're gonna give him a noble coat. I can't remember which one was which. Actually, I have to put one on anyway. So let's put on this one. I think this was the white one. No, the blue one. Totally fine. I'd rather wear the blue one. <laughs> but there is uh, there is one more thing that I need to do before I head off to this uh, to this birthday party, and it's something that I I've been doing every day to complete the look of this zombie look, and that is to get stung by wasps. Um, so I'm gonna. Run around and try to get stung really quick. Hopefully it doesn't do anything too negative to the to the festivities of the party. Hopefully nobody mentions it. <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, while I'm looking for this wasp nest, hope you guys are having a wonderful day, as I said in the beginning. There it is. Easy peasy. And, uh, you know, just wanted to say hope you guys have still been enjoying the fall update. Oh my gosh, I forget how loud that can be. <laughs> oh, the angle is so bad, but he goes into like this zombie pose to whenever he gets stung. It completes the look so well. Either way, uh, we'll do a little walk around to the island, and then as you can see, I bought a ton of stuff like cushions and glass holders uh, with a candle in it um, from the mail today. 
I'll show you guys exactly what I did with that after we go to the birthday party, but... Um... You know what? Let's go and do that first. I feel like I want the birthday party to be the last thing. Let's take care of what we need to, and then we'll head to the party. Um... I wonder who's gonna be there. Let's see, of all the villagers I have, I think I really want either Stitches, Dom, or Ketchup to be there, or Sherb even. I think those would be a, an amazing combination of people to see at Lyman's birthday party. Uh, if anything, I really want Stitches or Dom. I see Dom and, and, and Lyman talking all the time, and I think it would be great. So, one of the things that we've done to the island recently is we've started adding on a ton of, uh, a ton of the Halloween decorations as well. Um... This is starting to become a problem, though. Uh, there's a, an, an abundance of weeds growing, like, all over the place. And so what I need to do here really quick is I need to go ahead and pluck all these weeds. And uh, I've made a custom design. For those that don't know, you can put down custom clear designs on the ground to prevent weeds from growing there. And uh, I have one that's called, uh, appropriately named, the Weed Repellent. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to wear it. No, I want to display it on the ground. There we go. So even though the, the, the weeds give off a, a great look, uh, a great natural look, I don't want them to become too abundant on the island, and so uh, as the days go by, I kind of pluck where I feel like I don't want them to be, and then I place that down, and then it's all good to go. So one of the things that we've added on to the island at this point is a... Uh, this is something that I've been working on off-stream, which, it, you know, it, did, it didn't really take that long. Is uh, one of these, uh, you know, these uh, uh, stargazing areas. Um, a lot of people have been recommending a stargazing area at some point, or, or somewhere near my island. Somewhere near my island. <laughs> somewhere on the island, and, uh, you know, this this area here, I was having a hard time trying to figure out what exactly to do with. And so I figured, you know what, this is probably going to be a great opportunity for me to use it as a, uh, um, a stargazing area as well. So, I know that it doesn't really take a lot in order to do this. Uh, it's really just a picnic blanket design, and then, uh, you know some cushions and a telescope but I still I don't know I still love it at night when you can come down here and angle your camera up and stuff like that I think it looks great uh, we're gonna kind of offset these pillows from for each other there we go now one of the biggest things that people told me as well when I did this was if I were to do this that I needed to make it kind of quiet ish uh, make it not near waterfalls but um, honestly I think it's totally fine if I ended up getting uh, tired of the waterfall sound, then by all means I'll either move it or I'll remove one of the waterfalls. Obviously a lot easier for me to remove, to move the, um, to move the stargazing area than it would be moving anything else. Um, I want to make sure that you can still get to this pillow here, so maybe I'll put this down here instead. Okay, that's just not gonna work with me. I don't want to have to do this, but oh my god, I can't even get up that way. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll put it here for now. I don't. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with this table. I don't know if I want to put like a book or anything on it now, but um, you know, this is kind of this is kind of what it'll be at the moment. Um, and I think I really really like it. Uh, I'll have to wait and see what it looks like at nighttime. But just from when I was making it last night, I can already tell you that it looked amazing. So there's the new stargazing area. We'll see. Right next to Diana's house. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, I just love waterfalls too much. <laughs> I just love waterfalls too much. Uh, and then we have a new museum section that's being worked on currently. Um, you know, before I flattened everything down, I was in the process of trying to do a rock uh, garden, which, you know, was taking way too long. And then I figured, you know what, I wasn't going to wait for it in order to uh, to start it. There were a couple of things I was waiting on in particular before I started restarting my island or flattening everything down, and that was the rocks to be moved. That way I could have that sense of accomplishment that I did it. But also I wanted to grow like all of the uh, all of the the different colored flowers and stuff like that. And so, um, you know, that's oh, Gullivar is here today. I haven't seen him in a long time either. Uh, so you know, I'm finally putting it down, and I'm putting it down right in front of the uh, right in front of the museum with a Valiant statue that's going to be sitting right in the middle of it, so it's going to look great. Uh, just have everything set up, waiting for all the rocks to move at this point, but obviously that's going to take a lot longer than anticipated because of the fact that I'm still in the process of terraforming. So, um, 
Yeah, you know, a lot of people, and I want to apologize first and foremost, a lot of people have been asking me on the, uh, on the Twitch channel and stuff like that, uh, when the next chill video is going to be. And sometimes, you know, I feel, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel really bad that I don't, um, when I don't post these videos, because I feel like the only time that I should post these videos is when I have something to talk about or something to do. And, uh, you'll have to forgive me, I know that a lot of people have told me that that's, you know, that's neither here nor there. You guys are wanting to watch no matter what. And I really appreciate that. It's just something I'm still getting used to, so... Uh, who knows? Maybe this means I'll try posting a lot more this week and see how it's... See, kind of see how it's received. Um, and yeah. But yeah, I wanted to apologize first and foremost because I know that I haven't been posting a lot of these types of videos uh, lately. Um, and I know that a lot of people are still interested in the process of what's going on on the island and, and the updates and stuff like that. And so, yeah, I'm going to put some of this stuff away. And then we're going to head to Lyman's, uh, head to Lyman's birthday party. Well, actually, you know what? <laughs> we're going to still save it for last. We're going to go to the, we're going to do Gullivar's thing really quick. So I'm going to put on a wetsuit here. And I just, just pray that I don't get too many, um, too many sea creatures that I have to like carry around with me. Alright, uh, I think that's a decent amount of stuff put away. We'll go ahead and stick with that and then organize this to make it a little bit neater. People always get on me for my pocket organization ever since, like, the Crunchy Island races and stuff like that, but I don't care. <laughs> I think it's a fun thing. I'll never get over this 5 a.m. music. I swear. Oh, my bottle. Let's see what it is first. A shell table. Which I know. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Alright, Gullivar, let's uh let's go through the process here. Oh, that was fast. Wow. Okay. Must be my lucky day. <laughs> That usually never happens. I usually have to talk to him like 10 times. Can't find his communicator. Of course. Okay. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get even luckier and, uh, find the communicator on the very first dive. That'd be great. I still love the diving. I still love the swimming. I think I've said this on a recent video as well, but I still do. I know that, like, in the beginning it was, like, a lot of people... It was really prominent in people's daily routines and stuff like that, and I know that lately a lot of people have been saying... You know, that they haven't really used the diving mechanic, they haven't really gone swimming. Um, because I get it, like, once you get all the sea creatures and stuff for a particular season or, or things like that, there's really no need to. Um, but I still enjoy it, and uh, even though I don't do it too often myself, uh, I have no ill feelings towards it whatsoever. Well, this is a new creature. Chambered Nautilus. Awesome. Well, there you go. Not something I was expecting, but, you know, a little bit more progress towards the museum, which is something that I haven't really done a lot lately. Uh, once there were new bugs and creatures and insects and fish and every variation of those words introduced in October, uh, admittedly, uh, I didn't really take the time to go find them, obviously because I was uh, uh, busy uh, getting married. <laughs> um, but uh, either way, it's something I do need to get on. I know that there's really not a lot of new introduced things in October, and I really, I don't think there was a lot of things that were leaving in September. That information might be incorrect, though. Um, but either way, it is something that I do need to, to get back on. I know that there was an opportunity once September rolled around where you could finally catch all the fish uh, to get your golden fishing rod, which uh, I don't know if I can still do, but, you know, I'll take a look into it. Hoping to get more pirate items. I'll, I, I think, well, obviously, I, I'm going to get a, a more pirate items from Gullivar, but 
Uh, need more pirate items to continue finishing up the uh, the pirate cove that we have built next to our uh, our secret beach and stuff like that. So looking forward to that. Uh, I'm gonna wear my normal uh, my normal. <laughs> this is the wrong one. Where's my uh, where's my regular one? Here we go. All right. Okay, so I'll wear my noble coat. I'm gonna donate this uh, Nautilus to the museum before I forget. I have a bad habit, man, of uh, of getting new creatures and critters and stuff like that to donate to the museum and then selling them at Nook's Cranny before I can uh, before I can donate them. For those longtime viewers and followers of the channel, uh, I know that I know that you know this. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. That's okay, Blathers. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go celebrate. Uh, let's go celebrate my main man Lyman's birthday today. Let's go say what's up to him. Let's go say what's up to whoever else is in the uh, in the party with us here. But uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, uh, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about it as uh, you know once the party is is either going or is over. But uh, I'm feeling a little bit. I don't know, I got I got some feels going on for Lyman's birthday party, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, I don't know if you guys can relate, but I'll explain kind of why. Alright, here we go. Let's see who it is. I'm pretty sure this is Lyman's house. <laughs> Let's see. And it's Stitches. Our other favorite boy, Stitches. Yo, Blaster, so glad you made it. Don't be shy. High dive into the party. Quack is extra. <laughs> That's right! Oh, that's right. He uh, he literally stole that from uh, from from Pinky yesterday. I, I walked in on the conversation, so he's he's in his uh, he's in his best outfit right now. Um, let me take a picture. Let me see if I can get a, a picture of this for for the thumbnail here. You know I got to get that thumbnail picture, y'all. Come on, Lyman. <laughs> I'll work on it later. Either way, all right, let's uh, let's talk to Lyman. I really appreciate that you, my good friend, stopped by. And I'll appreciate it even more if you, my good friend, have a present for me. Walk is extra. <laughs> appreciate this, I forget, <laughs> appreciate nothing. I swear, our characters can be pretty savage sometimes. Appreciate a noble coat, almost gave him a wet suit that I wore, would have been pretty disgusting. Did you really? A noble coat? You're so cool. I can't believe you got me such an awesome present. Thanks for the birthday present. You and me, friends for life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Let me see if I can snap a picture of this for uh, for the old thumbnail here. All right. Come on, camera. <laughs> no. All right. Ooh, that might be good. There we go. Oh, that was perfect. That was that was good too. I'll pick one of those. Stitches just singing into the corner. Let's talk to Stitches really quick. You're here to celebrate Lyman's birthday too, huh, Ryan? Ah ha ha ha! I sure do love birthday parties. Dun, 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 dun. My goal this year is a billion squats. My legs will be so huge, they'll each have their own government. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much it, right? Are the decorations for Lyman's party amazing? We all worked together last night to put them up. I did that bit over there. Who's, who's, who's we? <laughs> it's just you, bud. <laughs> oh, man. Let's talk to Lyman one more time. Before my next birthday, I'm going to make my major rock climbing debut. We're talking big time, baby. I mean, that's my dream anyway. Maybe it'll come true. Guac is extra. <laughs> oh my god, guac is extra. I swear. Alright. Oh, happy birthday, bud. Happy birthday, Lyman. Heading out already? Guac is extra. Thanks for stopping by today, and thanks for the gift. Oh, man. So... Ah, uh, I'm gonna... I'm going to plot my character down here really quick. So I'm not going to lie. Um, Lyman's birthday is... Uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty special day, uh, to be honest with you guys. I know that, like... I know that it's weird to, like, to take these characters further and to take this game any further than, uh, than what it really is. But, you know... 
this game has been such uh, such such an integral part of of our lives for the last um, six months now. The game is only six months old. It's been such an integral part of all of our lives over the last six months, and it's been something that you know I, I've talked about this before. It's been something that uh, we can all connect on. We can all connect with you know sharing sharing design patterns and stuff like that, sharing design ideas for islands, going to other people's islands to water their flowers to help them grow uh, different hybrid flowers and stuff like that, doing all these different things to, to help each other out in a time when when we all needed it is has been something has been something pretty special. And uh, I guess I'll do a little bit of a walk around instead. That way you guys have something to uh, to watch while I while I talk about this while trying not to lose my train of thought. But We've all been able to connect on this one game, and it's been such a, a huge part of our, all of our lives. For those that have been following my channel for a while, um, who are also, you know, big-time Animal Crossing fans like I am, and Lyman in particular has been here since the very beginning. Uh, his character has... Uh... Oh, man. Um... It, it's, it's, it's a combination of a lot of things. It's a combination of the fact that, like, Lyman has been a character that I've been seeing every day for the last six months. In addition, because of <laughs> because of all the jokes and the memes and stuff like that, Lyman turned into my favorite Animal Crossing villager, which at first started off as a joke, but has now, um, you know, become something a little bit more of a of a serious answer. Uh, I know that we have this popularity tier list and stuff like that for villagers that we all enjoy and stuff like that, but I think at the end of the day... Whew, you know, you, you have to have your villagers that you really, really enjoy. And I know that... Uh, I feel... I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel a bit silly. I feel a bit silly getting even uh, slightly emotional talking about this, but it, it's... It extends to further than just his character, it extends to... His purpose on the island and his purpose in the game for me and what it's what it's done for me in the last six months and um what <laughs> what it's also contributed to in regards to the youtube channel and the twitch channel so you know you guys have to understand this is extending to further than just oh i love lyman this is this is extending into my relationship with you guys uh it's extending into my relationship with anybody who comes over to the twitch side of things and stuff like that too um it's been uh, such an amazing ride. It, it's been so great to um, uh, to talk to you guys and hang out with you guys and, and share this and enjoy this with you all. And uh, I couldn't I couldn't have asked for <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better game or for a better villager to help me connect with you all on that or and for that I just want to say thank you. I feel like I say thank you to you guys a lot, but I really, I really do. Um, yeah. Uh, at the risk of, uh, at the risk of getting way more emotional about this than I really was planning on, on getting. Um, I knew that I was, <laughs> I knew that I was going to get somewhat emotional during it, but I, I didn't, I didn't expect I was going to get this kind of emotional, but yeah. You know, to wrap it up, Lyman is, Lyman is my favorite character in this game. Um, and the fact that his birthday is coming six months after the start of the game really reminds me how long I've been sticking with this whole thing YouTube twitch making videos and stuff like that and how many how many of you guys I've met and uh yeah and so for that I'm truly grateful what a wonderful day for anybody else who has Lyman on their islands be sure to uh be sure to celebrate with them well give them great gifts it's times like these I wish that we had an animation for hugging our villagers. I think if we had the animation of hugging our villagers, I would have absolutely lost it. <laughs> I know that a lot of people probably would do the same thing too. But either way, uh, that'll do it for this episode of Animal Crossing and Chill. Once again, I just want to say thank you guys from the, from the bottom of my heart for everything. For always hanging out with me, for always watching videos. I'll do my best to try and post more videos this week. Uh, and then, you know, maybe that'll translate into me posting videos... Uh, more videos uh, just in general. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it very much. Enjoy your guys' day. Have a wonderful rest of your Monday. And depending on when you're watching this, I hope you had a wonderful day or are planning on having a wonderful day regardless. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoy the video, as always, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. That always helps. And, um, yeah, that'll do it. Love you guys so much. I appreciate everything. Have a great day. Happy birthday, Lyman. Happy birthday to all the Lymans out there in the world. And until next time, have a great day. Thanks, guys.